all t-shirts are shaped so weird. Like, the people who make those have never seen a female in their life. And it doesn't help that I'm well endowed in certain places. So I really don't Big think this much. <laughs> oh god, I don't like to point it out. But, like, female t-shirts are meant for girls with, like, B-cups and shit. No. So, like, I put one of those motherfuckers on, and, like, see, there's, like, a word. Oh, I have a Cookie Monster shirt that's meant for a girl. And it says, me love cookie. <laughs> cookie. And, like, the part that goes across my boobs is so fucking stretch stretched out, you can't even fucking tell what it says. It's just, like, blah, 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 cookie. <laughs> oh, dear God. It's horrible. Like, all of the, like, if there's anything, like, if I have, you know, girl sized t shirts and it has, like, any kind of text across the boobs, just, it all gets stretched out to hell. I have a, a girl shirt. Well, I used to have it. I don't fucking wear it anymore because it's too small around my boobs. I but- had a, a girl shirt, like, since I was 14 and I still wore it until I was 18. And,. Like, eventually it got to the point where I was just like, but I really love this shirt. You know, I had good memories with it. That was back when I was in high school. Blah, 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 blah. My first years of high school where I didn't hate life. And, yeah. <laughs> and um, those were the days. I'm going I'm going into God mode to fucking fill this up because this is going to be too much. Cheater. Energy. Shut up. Cheater. Uh, excuse me. But I used to have, like, a bunch of Gurr shirts in high school, but, you know... I still fit into all the clothes I have when I was, like, 14, except my shirts, for that very, you know, one reason. Yay, me. But, yeah, I have I have a Gurr shirt. Had a Gurr shirt. Poor Gurr's face was so stressed out. It looked like... You, you know how whenever, like, you get a background that's too small for your actual resolution and, and it's all like set it to full, and gross yeah you set it to full screen and that shit like gets stretched out as if like, like it was on. <laughs> that's what fucking Gurr's face look like <laughs> <laughs> and recently recently uh me and uh, paul went to this place called a uh, gorilla armament so he can look at uh, gun parts for his ar-15 and they have like these really fucking cool shirts and you know some of them are are ta- like they're t-shirts but they were tailored to be tank tops and like i just, i really fucking liked it and they were only 15 bucks so i bought one and across the front it says uh don't just adapt evolve and the word evolve is right across my boobs in huge letters and <laughs> i almost don't want to wear it in public cuz it's just evolve right across my boobs and Paul keeps making fun of me for it <laughs> it's sad no no here <laughs> thank you <laughs> alright this dirt needs to go yeah Oh, I, I don't wear a t-shirts a whole lot like, I wear t-shirts sometimes and around the house mainly, because I'm one of those people who, who when I leave the house, I want to look like I care about myself. <laughs> so I never really go out of the house wearing t-shirts and sweatpants and anything like that. So. Oh, I don't wear sweatpants outside. It's too hot for that shit. I call those give up on life pants. I got that from Jake, I think. <laughs> from Adventure Time. It's appropriate. Like, but like the only time I have ever left the house in sweatpants is when I, like I was forced to go to the grocery store back when I had my car and I was sick as shit. <laughs> no, because my mom was just like, I I needed soup and my mom was just like, I'm not gonna get it for you. What? And I'm like, okay, well I'll fucking go fucking get it myself. God damn it! And so I did. I went to a Walmart. I looked like one of those Walmart people. I had sweatpants on. I had slippers. Because it was fucking winter time. I had the cliche gray ass sweatpants. <laughs> black slippers. Okay? I didn't give a fuck that day. That's just that day where you're just fucking walking down the aisle like, I ain't give a shit right now. It's like most of the people in this town, like I said, military town, most of the women here look like they have given up on their fucking life. Like, 
most women here have long hair that never is down. Like, it is always in a messy fucking bun. Most of these, like, these women have perpetual messy bun here. It's ridiculous. And, you know, the sweatpants and t-shirts and shit. And I'm walking around town in, like, you know, jeans, a blouse, and a blazer. And just, ugh. I... It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I have V-neck shirts. I, I always wear, like, low-cut blouse. Not low-cut, like, you know, booby. see my boobies? But low cut is in it's not. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to pull the immature five year old boy. He he did boobies. <laughs> but but uh. Fuck. Oh, you, Chrissy. you Chrissy twice. I Chrissy three times. What are you talking about? You made boobies. <laughs> Fuck. Where did my axe go? It broke. <laughs> But, like, I, I usually wear, you know, v-neck or scoop neck tops because I can't fucking stand having, like, shirts or collars up against my neck. It makes me crazy. So. <sighs> I almost embarrassed this guy in Wendy's the other day. Me and Paul are standing in Wendy's, right? And I'm wearing a scoop neck shirt. And I have big boobs. So I have some cleavage. N nothing, nothing, you know, offensive, but there's some cleavage there. And in walks this couple. The wife looks nothing less than a porpoise whale. And like, you know, it's okay if people are overweight, but this woman had given up. Like she's overweight. It's like, <laughs> Her hair was messy as shit. She wasn't dressed. She was like, you know those big fucking frock type dresses? That just like, they looked like someone just poked a hole in a bag and threw it on them. She was wearing one of those. And she tried to put makeup on, but it's literally like she laid her makeup out on a table. And then just face <laughs> planted. <laughs> so this woman looks, you know, devastating basically. And then her husband looks like a crocodile Dundee wannabe. This motherfucker is skinny as shit, big old Coke bottle glasses, in a safari hat, <laughs> khaki cargo pants, and one of those button up safari looking fucking, you know, shirts with sleeves rolled up. Not shitting you. <laughs> so, um, and this guy, like, you know. Sees me standing there. He has sunglasses on at first. And his, like, he should have, the place he should have been looking, because it was Wendy's, and I guess he was supposed to be looking up at the menu, should have been in front of him. But instead, his, his head is just tilted ever so slightly to, you know, my direction. And he's wearing sunglasses in a fucking dim-ass Wendy's. Like, I don't fucking know what's going on. And so, you know, I, I, I moved where he can't fucking see me. So later, you know, after after I'd kind of forgotten about it, I look back over at him. Glasses are off, and he is on a 